Well, so Doug and I are just going to do a, a brief activity. If you watch what we're doing, and then I'll, I want to ask you about what you think Doug's behaviour was at, at the end of the activity. Okay? So what Doug's trying to do, you mean? Yeah, if you just, if you just kind of notice the activity and then we'll, we'll talk about what you think was happening afterwards. Okay, okay. you ready, Doug? Mm-hmm. Okay, and we'll just do it one more time. So if we just go... Okay, I'll just stop there for a minute. So, you saw what, mm. how Doug was behaving and what I want to know is, do you think Doug was doing the same thing or something different on both I occasions? he was trying to do something different. Okay, what, what did it look like he was doing? Well, in the first one it looked as though he was just trying to draw um, like a, an arc mm -hmm. shape and in the second one he was trying to draw a straight line or, or the same thing but in a different direction. Hmm. And, and we cer we've certainly got a different record of, of his behaviour or his yeah. actions, if you like. So, Doug, over to you. Were you doing the same thing or something different with both? If I was doing the same thing. Yeah. But in, in fact, Doug was doing exactly the same thing. What, what were you doing? Um, my plan was to keep this knot on top of the black dot. Hmm. No matter how I was moved. So, and we can just demonstrate that again. I'll put another dot there. And this time... If I use a pen, you might get a sense of, of what was happening. Okay, so when I move out, Doug moves out. When I move in, Doug moves in. If I move up, Doug moves down. If I move down, hmm. Doug moves up. So Doug's actions, if you like, are, a, are an exact mirror of what I'm doing so on the other end of the that was going to be my other guess. Was he trying to do the same thing as you? But I would have still got it wrong. Mm, mm. No, he wasn't. In fact, he couldn't really predict what I was doing because he didn't know what I was doing. Right. So this is a presented in perceptual control theory as a model of behaviour, that all, all actions that we see can be understood as a process of trying to keep, trying to meet a goal or trying to keep a knot over a dot. So trying to keep a car on a road, you you vary the way that you move the steering wheel so that the position of the car on the road stays in the same place. Right. So we don't really know what somebody's goal is just on the basis of their behaviour? No, in fact, that's, that's a really good point. What just looking at someone's actions on their own actually tells you more about the state of the environment as they perceive it to be at that particular time. So Doug's actions were a mirror, if you like, of what was going on in the environment, which was me on the other end of the rubber band. And so the other, the other aspect is that there's no real, it's very hard to identify a cause to Doug's, Doug's actions mm. because the actions, this particular pattern of actions, were sort of caused by my hand movements, but they only happened this way because Doug had this goal. So if it had a different goal, there would have been a different pattern of actions. So it's both what's going on inside Doug's head and what's going on inside outside in the environment at the same time that produce behaviour. Right. And the purpose of behaviour is to keep a knot over a dot from the perspective of the person doing the behaving. So it's sort of like a, a, a model or a theory from the inside looking right. out. So his behaviour is just him controlling his perception of meeting his goal. Absolutely. His, his behaviour is almost the, the by-product, if you like, of him doing what he, what he wants to do, right. keeping a knot over a dot. So, Sarah, we can use that, that basic activity of, of just keeping a knot over a dot and, and expand it out a little bit to understand other sorts of behaviour. So, in this situation, we've got two dots, so that's like having two goals, um, but there's only one knot, so you can only keep the knot over one of them and if Doug wants to keep 
the knot over that dot and I want to keep it over this dot, then very quickly you can see where the, and we're both kind of grimacing a bit, and you can see where the, mm. the knot ends up sort of in the middle. So neither, neither goal is really yeah. achieved. And, and so that's a model of, of conflict from this, yeah. from this perspective. So you've both got different goals which are mutually incompatible. Yeah, yeah. And you can imagine if this was happening, this is between two people, but mm. if, you, if you take that and put it inside one head, you can imagine the sort of tension um, and, and kind of oscillation that's occurring yeah. now um, would, would be going on inside someone's head and account for a lot of um, strange behaviour that we yeah, sometimes observe. Yeah, fluctuating behaviour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you'd, you'd shift between goals Swing, and... Swinging backwards and forwards, yeah. Okay. yeah. So mm. if I just relax even a little bit, that goes over there, and then if I, if I pull harder, it comes back here. And, you know, Doug can do the same, right. the same thing. <laughs> So conflict would eventually lead to something snapping. Mm, mm. Yeah. Well, and this is a good example of how we're, we're kind of constrained within physical limits. Um, so, so there are limits that can be reached and, um, and then we're sort of stuck in the middle, which is how some people describe the distress they feel. We can also, um, some people get concerned because goals are just things that happen inside people's, other people's heads. So, so it can be hard to understand other people's goals, but using this technology, there is a way that we can get a sense of the, the goals that other people have. So this time, Doug, if you just choose any one of those dots to keep the knot over, but don't tell us which one you're going to keep it over. Okay, and we have to try and guess. So if I just move my hand systematically and observe the effects, we can kind of get a mm. sense of... So I'd guess you're trying to control that dot. That's correct. Hmm. Hmm. So you can, you can also say that we can, it, it's, it's never perfect because the goal is still inside um, Doug's head and what that looked like for Doug was different from the way it looked for me because I'm, I'm in a different place and have a different perspective. But you can get pretty close to, to knowing what things are important to people and what they're controlling for as a way of understanding their behaviour.